Hi, I'm George, and this is how to use layers in Photoshop Elements for beginners. I get a lot of questions about this. I thought I would go through this here and explain this from the beginning. Now, if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, now layers is just a way to organize the contents on your page. This has a lot of layers, as you can see in here. Let me just hide all these things as you can. Show and hide layers just like that. Let's hide all this stuff. Let's just hide that text right here. There is the original photograph. So if I just open this picture up, this is what I'd be seeing. And it would be here on what's called the background layer, a special kind of layer. It just has a few locks on it so you don't accidentally damage that. When you want to add in additional things into a picture, the easiest way to do that is just to add a layer in. Let me bring back up here the top layer or text layer right here. And this then puts that layer on top of the layer in the background. Notice how I'm seeing through the text or past the text. The area around the text is transparent. So I'm seeing what's behind that layer right here. So you can think of layers as being a stack of cards. Some cards have clear transparent areas on them. You can see through those down to layers underneath. If you bring more pictures into the same project file, they'll come in as new layers. Let me just show you that right here. Go up to File, and I'll use the Place command and use it to place another picture here inside of this picture. And I have one right there. There we go. Cheese place. And this comes in, as you can see here, as a new layer above the existing layer. I'm just going to put that over here so you can then move these things around. Notice that the contents in here can be moved around. You can move the contents of a layer anywhere you want to. Just drag it and drop it where you want it. Notice that this layer is above the background layer. That's fine. But it's underneath the type layer up here at the top. So if I pull this down here, you see it's in behind the type. So the stacking order of your layers on the right-hand side shows the visibility and how things are going to be stacked on your main work area. So pretty easy to add in new layers. Now, there are different kinds of layers you can add in. This is a picture layer brought in here. You have a text layer right down there. You add in text just by clicking on the type tool right there. It gives you a type insertion point. And the text will come in above the layer that's currently selected. Notice over here, this layer has this blue coloration. That layer is selected. So if I click my type right up here, like that, type in text, notice how this type comes in in front of that layer, but it's underneath everything else. So it comes in on the next layer up from the layer that you are currently sitting on. I'll just choose, okay, you can see that again, if I grab this text, pull it down here, it's in behind the text up here. So there's act like a stack of cards. The top layer is the top of the deck and the bottom layer is the bottom of the deck. Let's just hide this one down here. Again, you can show and hide like that. We also can bring in shape layers. I have one sitting right here, special shape layer. And I use that to have a place to put in that skateboarder. You can get shape layers over here. There's a shape tool, lots of possible shapes. You have rectangles, rounded rectangles, ellipses, all kinds of just random shapes. Let me put in an arrow right here and I'll just drag in that shape just like that. There we go. And again, that came in above the layer I was last sitting on right there. If I wanted to change that position, let's say I wanted to have this in front of this, you can grab your layer and just drag it around. You can actually change the order of layers in here by moving a layer up and down. Just click it and drag, and you can put that layer in a new place. So it's pretty easy to rearrange your layers over here. Let's just hide that one. There we go. And to work on a specific layer, just click that layer and then get these control handles showing up in here. These allow you to do things like change the size, just grab that corner, you can change the size, there we go. Come outside the corner, you get a curvy arrow like that, you can then drag that around and rotate your image or grab this little handle right here, do the same thing. You pull out further like that and then rotate, it's a bit easier to be more controlled with that. If you're happy with your position, click that green check mark. If you're not happy, click the cancel button and it goes back to the way it was. You also can control the transparency in here. I'm gonna pull this layer here above the text, clear to the top like that, See that dark line in there? That's where that layer is going to be sitting. I'll go clear up here to the top. It's now sitting in front of the text. I can pull this down here so you can see that. There you go. You can control how much you can see through a layer. Right here it says opacity. I'll click on that arrow and get my slider. I can then pull the slider back and notice how I can now see through that. So you can control the transparency or opacity of layers by using this opacity control right up here. You can blend layers into layers that are underneath. I'm going to Stretch this one out a bit further, make it real good size like this, and I'll have it fit on top of that whole word. There we go, it covers the whole word. Hit that green check mark. And now we have these blend modes here where it says normal. These are blend modes. These allow you to blend the layer into anything underneath that layer, not just the layer right below, but all those layers underneath. There's a darkened look. 
Here's a multiply look. Different options here will have different effects based upon what your layer and imagery and coloration is. But you get a pretty good idea here. Multiply is going to be multiplying the colors together. Color burn is going to be accentuating the colors in here. It also burns in that color to the background. Now the easy way to use these, what I normally do is just click on one, choose one, and then use the wheel on your mouse and you can scroll through and just see what looks good. I'm just scrolling down right now. I'm seeing what my options are in here. Kind of interesting. And I'll just keep on scrolling down clear to the bottom, which is right there. Then you can scroll back up again. So it's a good way to quickly see what your different effects can be just by scrolling through. I think that actually the vivid light works out pretty well in here, just kind of as a design feature. And it's blending that top layer into all the layers underneath. Right now that just means the ones that are showing, which is the airborne text and also that background layer. There's a lot more you can do with layers. And if you watch a few of my projects, you'll get a good handle on how these layers work. And this is one of the most basic and most useful tools or techniques that I have here inside of Photoshop Elements, one I use in almost every single project. I think well, I'd say actually every single project I use has layers involved as part of the process to make that particular image. Let me just hide that and I'll bring back in some of these layers in here. There we go. This very complex looking image is actually very easy to make because I've used layers to organize the different parts of the image. If you want to find out how this picture is made, I'll put a link for this project in the description. Make sure you take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. The link for that is right down there at the top of the description. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.